Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the Dean and Chapter, may I welcome you to Westminster Abbey to remember those whose lives were lost during the sinking of the HMS Park. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we give thanks for all that makes our common life secure, for the peace and freedom we enjoy, and for the opportunity that is ours of building a better society for the generations to come. Amen. O Lord, our God, whose name only is excellent, and your praise above heaven and earth, we remember in your presence those who laid down their lives in war, especially those who died during the sinking of HMS Park. May they find fulfillment in your eternal kingdom, and grant that we may dedicate our lives to the causes of justice and freedom for which they die, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, enable us by your grace to dedicate ourselves anew this day to the cause of justice, freedom and peace. And help us with wisdom and strength to build a better world for the honour and glory of your name. Amen. We remember in our prayers those members who have died during the year that has gone and commend them to our Heavenly Father. The Earl of Gainsborough, the Reverend Jeremy Bradford, Mrs. Rachel Musket, Mrs. Kennedy. Mr. Batchelor. They shall grow not old as we that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun and in the morning, we will remember them. We will remember them. Eternal Lord God, ruler of the earth and sky, be pleased to receive into your protection all who go down to the sea in ships and work upon the waters. Preserve them in body and soul. Prosper their labours with good success. In times of danger be their help and defence, and bring them safely into port. Through Christ our Lord, our sunset and evening star, and one clear call for me. And may there be no moaning of the bar when I put out to sea, but such a tide as moving seems asleep, too full for sound and foam when that which drew from out the boundless deep turns again home. Twilight and evening bell, and after that the dark, and may there be no sadness of farewell when I embark. For though from out our born of time and place, to him we resign ourselves, and the just cause which is entrusted us to defend. Amen. Grant to the living grace, to the departed rest, to the Church, the Queen, the Commonwealth, and all humankind, peace and concord, and to us sinners eternal life. The blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, 
be among you and remain with you always. Amen. So, have you been here before, Mrs. Stewart? No, no, okay. So, how, so can you tell us a bit? What were you doing on the ship? What was your rank? What was your age? Have you been rude? Oh, yes, I? yes. Uh, oh, about 15 or 16. 15 or 16. So, how did you um, survive? You were, fell into the sea and picked up, or? Had well, it was it was quite easy for me. When 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 the ship was hit, yes, it went on to that side. Yes, and that's why we lost so many people. But I managed to get back over, and back down the other side. Y yes, and then I had to swim about two miles. Uh, and then, what did you do after that? Go to another ship, or, or oh, what yes. happened? I, I was picked up by a, a, an Australian destroyer, yeah. uh, and then I was pa passed on to another ship. Yes, and then you carried on with work. Oh yeah. And how long did you stay in the navy? How long? How long was I in the navy? It must have been about seven or eight. Right. And, and where are you from, may I ask, originally? Uh, Bala. Just to speak you, um, It's very kind of you to come because we're thrilled to meet some new survivors. Yes. <laughs> but so it was you, you lost your brother on the ship. That's right. And, and was he older, younger, or what? He was older. Yes. And and how many brothers, how many in the family were you? Oh, Lord God, there was 13. an awful lot of them. 13. 13. And so he, he was 23. Yes, yes. And you were 17. That's about it.